so just like a lot of other people, I've got pores. And about 20,000 of those are on my face alone. And due to some unfortunate genetics, mine are a good bit bigger than others. And for a long, long time, I thought my nose was covered in blackheads. And I even went to a dermatologist in my early teens who didn't even tell me what actually was on my nose, which is sebaceous filaments, and just kind of complained that I was wasting her time because I didn't really have a serious skin problem. Anyways, large pores are a problem for a lot of folk and the skincare industry makes billions every year marketing products that promise to reduce the size of pores, clean them out or shrink them permanently. And I will stick my hand up and say that I buy products all the time trying to do the same and have thought about more invasive facials because we live in a society that makes you worry about what you look like. But that's not what I'm here to complain about today. Today, my main issue isn't with a certain product that a company is trying to sell me, but a common misconception that is still being plugged by skincare companies and skincare professionals around the world. I was recently on the Body Shop's website because I am a sucker for their face masks, and I noticed that they had a tips and advice tab on their main page. So as someone that, you know, loves tips and advice, I clicked on it. And the first article I saw was called How to Reduce Blackheads, and I thought, bingo, that is totally written for me. I need this in my life. Let me have it. But as I got to the third section, how do I help prevent blackheads appearing in the first place? I was instantly disappointed to see that they'd written the phrase, get those pores open. <sighs> so they say a warm shower will jumpstart your skin clearing a blackhead prevention routine. It will help to open your pores and enable any products that remove blackheads to work more efficiently. No, 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 no. It just makes me cringe so hard that a billion dollar skincare company can't even get the basics of skincare right. I mean, who has authorized a blog post to be published? And they are not the only ones still promoting this method of cleaning out your pores. And then press this onto your face, of course, once it's cooled down a little bit. What this is going to do is open up your pores. I wash my face with hot or warm water. Just open up the pores and the crusty stuff. And yeah, I like to use a nice warm washcloth because it's going to open all of your pores and get it ready for all the other skin products you're about to apply. So in order to explain the issue with this, first off, let me explain what a pore is. Pores are simply small openings in the skin that release oil, so sebum and sweat, and they're also connected to your hair follicles. So each pore contains a sebaceous gland, which produces a sebum that your skin needs to remain soft and supple. They can be more noticeable on certain parts of your face, like the forehead and your nose, um, your T-zone, where the spacious glands are bigger. But the overall size of your pores depends primarily on your genes and your skin type influences how visible your pores are too. So dry skin tends to appear poreless, while oily skin often has more visible pores, like mine. But the main point is that everyone has pores, just some people have more visible pores. And now for some reason, word has spread that you can open your pores by using steam or hot water and close them by using cold water. This is absolutely no basis in your skin's physiology. Pores are just tiny openings in your skin. Pores do not have muscles around the opening to allow them to open and close. Your skin is made of layers of tissue and fat, nerve fibers, blood and lymph vessels, hair follicles and sweat glands and sweat ducts but no muscle. So your pores cannot open or close because there is no mechanism for that to even happen in the first place. But there is a benefit to using warmer water when washing your face. It can soften and loosen up the excess sebum and dead skin cells and anything else that's in your pores, um, which makes it easier to cleanse it out. There are also several treatments on the market that do slightly tighten your pores better than cold water ever could. Like Retin-A can improve skin texture and fade dark spots and freckles because it causes skin cells to turn over more rapidly. So because it improves cell turnover, the pores are less likely to clog. And I saw in a Huffington Post article that quoted a dermatologist that said you can shrink pores permanently with non-ablative laser treatments such as MedLite and Genesis and multiple fraxel sessions which shrink pores while also increasing collagen production. So I couldn't find where the myth first started from. I may have to do a bit more digging, but we really do need to stop skincare companies and skincare professionals alike from spreading misinformation. And the best way to do this is by educating them in what is fact. And having watched this video, you have educated yourself. Woo! And you can further do so by having a basic knowledge in science and how the world works. Luckily for us, today's sponsor, Brilliant, have made this super easy and manageable by creating a new feature, Daily Problems which helps to make learning a daily habit. 
Every day they publish several problems that provide a quick and fascinating view into math, logic, um, science, engineering, or computer science. Each problem gives you the information that you need to tackle it so that you learn the concepts by applying them. So if that sounds like fun, you should go to brilliant.org forward slash science with Katie and the first 200 of you to do so will get 20% off the annual subscription to view all problems in the archives. And that's it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more, hit subscribe and a big thank you to my patrons on Patreon and thank you for watching. Bye.